Hello, Corey here from the Box Scholar channel. Thank you for joining me today. I have a very useful and interesting video for you today. It is a tutorial explaining the circle of fifths and circle of fourths, sharps and flats. This is really essential to know all this information in order to have a, a, a real good grasp of scales, major and minor scales. And um, I have here um, my little workshop set up for you here. You can read this at your leisure, but this is the order of the sharps and the order of the flats. And I will explain that in, in a few minutes. What I'd like to start with first is um, that you have to understand that, uh, you know, I get a lot of questions about the circle of um, uh, fifths, which is also known as the circle of fourths the other, uh, the other way around. And um, I want to demystify for that for you today using uh, the, the keyboard here. I hope you can see this well. Uh, we're going to start in middle C. And uh, first of all, the first thing you have to know is what a fifth and a fourth is. You count up five notes from C. You can, you can think also do, re, mi, fa, sol. Do, re, mi, fa, sol. Okay, the five notes. You have five up from C is G. That's sometimes called the dominant of C. Five up from G. Five up from G is D. So D is the next one in the line. And then five up from D is A. Five up from A is E. Five up from E is B. And five up from B is F sharp. Make sure when you count up five that you're going up the major scale for that key. So remember the black keys. If you're counting up five from B, don't, don't only count white keys. It's the Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol in the solfege system. So once again, let's, re, uh, let's uh, go over that. C, G, D, A, E, B, and F sharp, right here, if you can't see that, it's right here. You can also look at it this way. Going up a fifth is the same as going down a fourth. So going up from C to G is the same as going down from C to G. So we're going up a fifth to G, and we're going down a fourth to G here. This is what we call complementary intervals, fifths and fourths are complementary. So in music, 4 plus 5 equals 8. 4 plus 5 does not equal 9 in music. 4 plus 5 equals 8. So a fourth is an inversion of a fifth, and a fifth is an inversion of a fourth. Works that simply. Now, what I just went over here is C, G, D, A, E, B, F sharp, and then also goes up to C sharp, but you don't see that very often. Now, if you want to just confine that to one space here, you have C, up a fifth to G. Up a fifth to D is the same as going down a fourth to D. Now, up a fifth to A. Now, down a fourth to E. Up a fifth to B. Down a fourth to F sharp and up a fifth to C sharp. Now I'll do it without talking. Once again, using two hands. This is the order of the major scales in the order of their sharps, of occurrence of sharps. So, um, you see here that F sharp is, we have C, which has zero sharps or flats. When you go to G, G has one sharp, which is F. When, when we go to D, D 
has F sharp and C sharp. A now has F sharp, C sharp, G sharp. And then you go to E. E has F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp. And then you go to B. B has F, C, G, D, and A sharps. And then F, F sharp here is um, F, C, G, D, A, E sharps. And the last one of all here is, is um, C sharp major, which is going to have all seven of these sharps. Now, the flats work the other way around. So if we were going up five, up five keys or up a fifth, and adding a sharp each time we add a fifth, then the circle of fourths goes up a fourth. Every time we add a fourth, we add another flat. So that's this sequence here. So let's let's go up. <clears throat> let's go up fourths here. We have C, and now we're going up a fourth. Do re mi fa. So it's do to fa. So C to F is a fourth. F, F major has one flat, which is B flat. And then we go up a fourth from F. Remember, you need a black key. You need to think black keys here. Don't, don't go that. Don't do that, but do this to B flat. It's the fourth key in the F scale. So we have C, zero, F has B flat. And when we go to B flat, B flat has B flat and E flat in it. If we go up one more fourth, we get to E flat. E flat has B flat, E flat, A flat. And if we go to A flat, we add one more flat. So we have A flat major has B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat. And, and then a fourth up from A flat is D flat. T flat major has five flats. B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat. And then we go up one more flat. G flat major has six flats. B, E, A, D, G, C, all the way. Um, all those, those six right there. And if we go one more, we get the C flat. Uh, G, if we have G flat here, C flat is a fourth above that. Now this is very rare. You will almost never see C flat major. Um, sometimes you'll see chords in C flat major, but almost never will you see a, a song or a piece of music in C flat major. But if you did, it would have all seven of these flats right here. B, E, A, D, G, C, F. So, now what I just went over were the flats. Now the flats go up by fourths, the sharps go up by fifths. Now, remember when I told you in the beginning what an inversion is. Going up a fifth is the same as going down a fourth. Now going up a fourth is the same as going down a fifth. So, if we go from C to F with our flats, that's the same as going, going up a fourth is the same as going down a fifth from C to F, like that. So, in other words, we can simply get the flats, we can do, do this sequence right here, and figure it out going a fifth that way. So the sharps go a fifth that way, and the flats go a fifth that way. So we're going to start on C, and we're going to go, we're going to go down a fifth. So we have Remember, we're in the key of F, so this is a fifth of F. We're going to go down a fifth to F. So C has zero flats, F has one flat. Now we're going to go down a fifth from F. If down a fifth from F is B flat. So now B, B flat has these two flats. Down a fifth from B flat is E flat, which E flat major has these three flats. Down a fifth from E flat is A flat which has these four flats. Down a fifth from A flat is D flat, which has these five flats. Down a fifth from D flat is G flat, which 
note has these six flats, and down a fifth from there is C flat, which is very rare, uh, once again, which has all seven of these flats. So, in other words, the circle of fifths goes up, the circle of fourths goes down. Now, with that being said, uh, I'd like to show you the circle of fifths here. And uh, many of you have seen this before and uh, may not have been able to figure this all out. But uh, this basically is what I just went over. Um, you, you, can, you can find this uh, anywhere online. Just simply uh, um, go in a search engine or Google, a Google circle of fifths and you'll get a similar chart like this. C major is always in the 12 o'clock position. The circle of fifths goes this way. So the sharps goes clockwise. And the flats go from here counterclockwise. So every time you, you, you progress up a fifth, you add a sharp. So we have C major, G major has one sharp. D major has two sharps, A major has three, so forth and so on, as we, as I showed you here going up the keyboard. Now, if you go this way, counterclockwise, you will see that um, you go a fifth that way on the keyboard. So it's like a mirror image is what it is. So this is zero sharps or flats. You go down a fifth and you get F major, which has one flat down another fifth, B flat major, so forth and so on. So you go down this way. And there are a few of them that can be spelled or written out um, differently, but they're the same. For, for example, C sharp major is the same as D flat major. It's written out differently, although it's played the same. The same with uh, B major and, and um, G flat major. B major and G flat major are, are enharmonic here. And, and F sharp major and G flat major, those both, have, those both have six flats and six sharps. So you can see sharps go that way, flats go that way. So this really demystifies this chart, if you've ever wondered about that. This is simply a chart that, that helps you understand how the flats and, and the sharps are organized. Now, um, I, I would highly recommend this book here. Uh, this is Scales, Chords, and Arpeggios by James Bastian. And um, I, I have a link there for, for you under in the description area where you can get that. Also, I highly recommend getting music flashcards such as these. Uh, these are some cards I have for uh, mostly for beginners. Um, I recommend these for everyone who's been studying music up to about three years. Uh, these are by Jane Smizor Bastian, Music Flash Cards. And we're going to go over these in, in a minute here. And uh, I've also included some other things there in the, uh, in the description area that you, can, uh, uh, that you can shop for at your convenience. Now, it's very important in learning sharps and plants that uh, it's, it's really, I think, the best thing to do is just get this out of the way with as quickly as possible simply memorize these. Now, some people have sayings, um, you know, they, they have a, a little sentence with the letter at the beginning of each word. Uh, I, I don't believe that's the best way to memorize. I simply, I think the best way to memorize this is simply just to memorize it. So, I would say, uh, wake up each morning and say F, C, G, D, A, E, B. F, C, G, D, A, E, B. Try to get in a rhythm. F, C, G, D, A, E, B. Try to do it memorized. F, C, G, D, A, E, B. Now, when you're able to do this memorized really easily when you get up in the morning, then you have it. Now, this, the, that's the order of the sharps. So if you memorize that, you'll know right away what the sharps are and the, uh, the scales that you're playing. Also, uh, the, the, these are the flats here. B, E, A, D, G, C, F. B, E, A, D, G, C, 
F, and you can say it with a rhythm, B, E, A, D, G, C, F, and, and then you can try it memorized, do it with your eyes closed. Now, uh, you might know this already, or you may have uh, uh, seen this, that <clears throat> the flats are simply the sharps backwards. So if you go F, C, G, D, A, E, B, B, E, A, D, G, C, F, that's B, E, A, D, G, C, F, and vice versa. So these are, uh, th these both are each one backwards. So that's a very easy way to, uh, to remember that. And the flats, then, if the sharps go like this, F, C, G, D, A, E, B, that is F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp, E sharp, B sharp, the flats are a mirror image. If you take D on the keyboard here, that's the mirror point. And if you move out to these notes, you'll see that that's a mirror image. So the flats go B, E, A, D, G, C, and F. Okay? B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, C flat, F flat. And it's really fun to actually play these together. You can take these. Take D here, go out to B flat and F sharp. You can just use two and five, two and five in both hands. Once again. Now, don't confuse that with the actual scales. What I'm playing here is the actual sharps and flats. The actual sharps and flats, the black keys, uh, mostly black keys that occur when you play the scales. For example, A major. You play the A major scale, you have F, C, and G. F, C, G is the A major scale. You have a C sharp here, F sharp here, and a G sharp here. And it's really a good idea to memorize all the sharps and flats for all your scales. And this is where the music flashcards come into play. I highly uh, recommend getting these. These are very good for beginners, especially children who want to learn uh, the basics of music. We have some notes and, and intervals here, but I have, I have taken out here the sharps and flats. So we see that... Um, you know, you can, you can take these out and test yourself with these, or you could maybe make them yourself. You can, you can look at that and say, oh, G major, and eventually when you learn the minor keys too, E minor, and that will be covered in a different video, but then you can look on the other side and see if you've got, got it correct. Then you can go on to two sharps and three sharps and so forth, and it has the answers on the back. And the same with the flat. So I do highly recommend um, working with flashcards, memorizing all the sharps and flats, memorize the sharps, memorize the flats, be able to, to wake up in the morning and do that cold, cold turkey with, with no help at all memorized. And um, I guarantee you that you'll have a much easier time understanding your scales, um, the major scales and minor scales, which are very, so very important for pianists to learn. So uh, this, um, I believe, concludes um, this tutorial here. I've, I think I've covered everything I want to cover. Once again, uh, you're welcome. And I, I would highly recommend this book. It's a very nice book and not very expensive. And I would highly recommend buying music flashcards and test yourself on a daily basis on your sharps and flats and definitely memorize this. Have this, have this memorized so, so you know that right away and you can immediately tell uh, sharps and flats. This is going to help you with your music reading, with your music sight reading and it will I think make you a better pianist uh, if, you are, um, if you are a pianist. So thank you for joining me today and uh, until next time.